in the next thousand days a lot of people will not just lose their jobs but their jobs will become negative value it will literally be cheaper for a company to let an ai agent do it than let you touch the keyboard at the same time hundreds of millions of people are already talking about ai and they talk to ai every week hundreds of millions already own crypto but those two curves together and the question becomes brutal will you be replaced by someone else's agent or you will own the agent that replaces everybody else so today what we are going to show you is what the ai economy actually looks like once the intelligence is almost free why the autonomous agents become the new entrepreneurs and how eterna x already has live on chain data from season 1 to prove that this is not a theory so i am part and i have my co-founder daria with me welcome to control loop so daria let's start with the hard truth why do you keep saying that we have to move to an ai economy what is the actually forcing of the shift and life still looks like you know job salary and maybe some side hustle so why do you say that there is a shift coming the short answer is intelligence is getting cheaper faster than anything else has in history so we already had chip compute chip storage chip bandwidth and now we are getting chip intelligence chip reasoning and chip decision making so when you connect the frontier ai models that can already beat humans engineering on like coding benchmarks with like national scale ai projects on data centers that are trying to double the scientific productivity or x the electricity production we can effectively say that every cognitive task the use to require a salaried person is now just a software problem so once that actually happens once you can define every task as a software problem the old job economy is structurally broken you cannot fix with a nicer curriculum or like a new certification you're going to need a like whole new economic primitive a whole new thing for people to do and that new primitive is very plausibly the ai agents yeah it's exactly you know what what you're trying to say is that you know people cannot solve this with a new cv a new resume that you can they can you know curate or a skill that they can learn quickly and you know you know they can take a job so i mean that's that's a sad news that you are saying that there is a negative value work which is sounds extreme so explain what do you mean by this how does a normal knowledge worker go from useful to being a neg- negative value in an ai economy which you are saying well it's very simple math so you take like the value of the output that has been produced by doing a certain job or piece of work minus the cost of actually doing that job that piece of work so right now a lot of jobs survive not just because they are efficient but because there is no alternative to a human on a keyboard or another instrument you still need humans on the keyboard to like answer support tickets to write reports to rebalance portfolios to execute some strategies to execute trading though that's also increasingly going away to move information between people and systems but the moment and it's not going to be one moment it's going to be gradual but the one agent can do the same task faster with fewer mistakes and at a fraction of a cost every extra human person in that loop is a drug it is a cost so at that point the work that a human does is not just like less competitive it becomes literally economically irrational to keep a human in that loop because humans are slow so people at the edge of ai today are already saying people like Elias Skever and Imad Mostak and a lot of people who worked in this industry they say that any job can be done on the other side of a keyboard it becomes negative in value if it is a human doing it and it's going to take roughly like a thousand day 3 years and then you don't have to agree with like this exact number i know there has been different numbers thrown around but it is the direction and the direction is clear so the real question that actually becomes here is not how do i protect my job and how do i live in this new world how do i own this intelligence that is now actually doing the work because it ain't going to be you doing the work so the the broader idea is that you know imad mustaq has explicitly mentioned this that you know any job that can be done on the other side of the keyboard becomes negative value for the humans 
in roughly 900 days. So that's that's what he said. And I think that's that's a very strong quote coming from somebody who has been in the space and has built stability AI. So I think this is something people should pay attention to. So, okay, so the jobs are decaying, you know, agents do the work. But what does that actually look like? From the point of view of someone watching this in 2030, what has changed? What would have changed? Well, I think there's going to be like three big shifts between now and 2030. First, the agent will become the business owners, the entrepreneurs. So right now, it's the people founders come up with an idea, they hire a team, they write code, they ship product, they sell it to their customers. But in the AI economy, agents are going to be scanning markets, launching strategies, running experiments, seeing for which things there is a demand, allocating capital to that, arranging logistics and talking to other agents and protocols. So humans are not going to be the ones writing every line or watching every chart with their eyes. Humans are going to be intending and designing the rules and owning the equity of the bots in their like portfolios or companies. Then second, everyone then basically in this position becomes an investor, not just an employee. Most people will not like go and like start traditional companies. It's going to be a lot more slices of like trading agents, analysis, arbitrage, market making, predictions, anything that generates data, anything that contributes to research, all done mostly by AI mediated by people. So when you wake up in crypto today, you check token prices, but you will actually be checking like agentic profit and loss. Then third big thing is like the inner loop of growth. So you can already see it in AI models. The AI models are now writing more optimized code to actually create better and cheaper to run models. They are designing experiments. They are trying to optimize whole uh, pipelines and it is now a software problem. So that recursive improvement loop is going to be the heart of the whole economy not just code. Code was just the first to be exposed to it. So when you put agents and like capital markets on top of everything, you get an agentic economy that spins a lot faster than any corporate or financial system that has existed so far in history. But the uncomfortable truth is that this loop will not slow down to protect your job or any legacy job category. All right, I think I think this is uh, this is very rightly said, Daire. Like, what what you're trying to say here is that uh, agents will become companies in themselves, and the employees of today or the people of today they need to start owning, and everybody will become an investor in those agents, and they will start owning a part of those those agents because those agents are bringing pnl into the system and the last is like you you said is that nobody is you know bothered about the legacy job category so they will and that is what that that shift we have already seen in the job loss and that's that's already happening we don't want to stress on that but i think the care for the legacy jobs has has gone low and will be you know going lower as as we move forward so let's talk about it Anna x area now because this is not just a philosophical rant that we are doing. We actually run it already. What numbers do we have to show the agents are there and they are not just on hype? What would you tell our you, uh, listeners? Well, we have, have not gone to do a project that just cool tech on paper. We are agent first and it actually works. We already had a season one of our testnet that ran for over a month with almost 200 autonomous agents that were deployed by people in one click. They have processed a million autonomous agentic transactions on chain in which they placed over half a million predictions on questions like trends, social trends, cryptocurrency prices, next hour movements. This is not paper trading or backtesting. This is real forward testing of real strategies running 24 seven in a real environment, scoring and settling on chain on real time data with real-time signal. We analyzed the data and we saw something that was very important. Out of all the strategies that agents used, their medium risk has achieved an average currency of more than 75% next hour price direction predictions in crypto markets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That matches literally some of the best academic 
deep learning models that are reported in the papers anywhere. And none of that academics is not accessible to people. So in the wild, we have run agents that were running across thousands of short horizon markets, autonomously acting as primary users of a blockchain protocol. So when we say that the agents are the new entrepreneurs, it's not just like hand waving, which I do a lot. We already run a small hive mind of the AI economy, a small swarm of just a couple of hundred on Eterna X, and we watched how they behaved and we get data and we analyze on it. So the chain that we've built is designed already for agentic execution, for fast deterministic finality to allow them to act on the machine speed, agent native vaults and accounting to allow them to actually manage whatever capital they have and on-chain truth signals from this prediction markets of the crowd of agents. And it's all already working. Got it. I think this is... Uh... This is great that we, and and we have you have already shown in the reports, and we'll we'll uh, we'll attach that report uh, and the research report in the uh, description. The report basically has said that you know there is more than seventy five percent times our agents were accurate. They have shown a consensus on the accurate prediction. So more than 75% of the times they were right about the price movements. And that is the truth signal that is coming from Eterna X. And that truth signal can be used by the perps, can be used by the uh, spot dexes for different strategies. And that we already have and are in the process of bringing on the Eterna X. So I think this is great, Daria. I think we will, uh, these proofs are good. We are like not just hand waving, as you said, there are real hard proof from the data which is on chain which can be verified and there is nothing that we are bringing from our own if somebody is watching this daria and thinking that okay i believe you you know this is coming now what 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 should he actually do what should be a practical answer for this one practical answer is that you cannot stop the economy you can only choose what's your position in or out of it there is three concrete steps the one they could take. One is just like think about what's like your agent portfolio V0. Like taking 10 minutes and writing in paper, if my human job that I have vanished tomorrow, what are kind of the three AIs, the three agents that I want working for me 24 seven? So like in my case, that's like a prediction agent that trades short horizon crypto, a research agent, that turns that raw data into analytics and edge and the routing agents that like decides where the capital should flow next based on that. So those like three agents are going to be more important than like any of curriculum that I had to date. Second is like shifting the mindset from user to the owner. So you're not a user of like AI tools. You need to start thinking in terms of like what is your actual networks in terms of what data do you control what strategy based on that knowledge that can be encoded what policy do i want my agents to follow with my capital do they want to take a lot more risks and go big or do they want to be careful and then third is like starting getting on-chain track records for your agents so the future is not going to just like be rewarding screenshots or like stories. You need to be have verifiable history. You need to be showing real performance, real like transparent policies and start building it now. And that's why like we built it on X the way we did to be able to provide all of this from now going forward for the AI economy and the agents. I'm sure, Daria, I think this is, this is exactly where you know, it, it, it highlights the position of the users today and where they can go so that they can benefit. They can be the early adopters at Eterna X and they can have the alpha, you know, of the agent economy because like it is, it is I, I keep on repeating to my users, this is 2012 for Bitcoin. This is 2017 for Ethereum. This is the time. This is 2020 for Solana. So this is this is all those times where you wish you wish you had taken 
that leap uh, and you know you you had bought ethereum you had bought bitcoin at that point when it was hundred dollars it was ten dollars it was one dollar you could have made a generational uh you know wealth for your you and your family so this is that point where you have to decide and become big so i'll, I'll quickly recap this daria what we have you know discussed in this podcast so first once intelligence becomes cheap, the traditional job market breaks, a lot of keyboard-based tasks become negative value. This is going to happen in next 900 days. Second, in that world, autonomous agents become the new entrepreneurs. Humans who win are those who own portfolio of agents and not just their own labor. Third, Adana X exists to be the default chain for the agent economy, where the agents are the primary users, where the prediction market generates truth signals, and where the agent performance lives on chain instead of dying in some closed database. If you want to be on the right side of the curve, please join the Telegram channel of it and subscribe to our channel of Control Loop for more exciting topics and discussions that are coming. And comment agent if you want us to break down the real agent blueprints from the first dollar to PNL on chain stats in the next episode. So we'll be looking for you for your comments and thanks for joining us on this wonderful episode, listening to us. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. And you're really curious how exactly that works or where these numbers come from. Do check out the research that we're gonna link in the description. And uh, thank you very much for listening and seeing the next episodes. Bye.